Okay, friends, so our ingredients are this is from the Dollar Tree, which is just a regular clipboard. And then this black zipper document bag, where any color would work. And two bags from the Dollar Tree as well. And some vinyl paper from the Dollar Tree. And I will be die cutting this using <clears throat> using some like alphabet dies that I have in my stash. So let's get started. So essentially what I want to happen is I want this black to go on top of here and then these are going to be like the side panels. I was talking to Rachel about this one and it, it's like when you're, you know, you're waiting in karate or you're waiting in soccer or any kind of activities, you can color, you can bring your stamped um, images you can put your markers right here fussy cutting scissors um, highlighter etc and then this is gonna be your kit and then it folds nicely you do this you do this and you're good to go so let's let's try to do that so I have these these are alpha letters from scrap diva designs this is their candy cane this is the shadow part. So one is going to spell Ohuhu and the other one is going to spell miscellaneous. So I'm going to die cut that and then I'm going to be adding it to my clear bags right here. So I'll be back. Okay, so now we have miscellaneous and this one spells Ohuhu. So I'm going to put the Ohuhu markers here. The next portion is I have this, maybe this is like a six inch or something. And I am going to attach this here in the back portion. And then I'm going to attach this to my clipboard. Okay. And with this attached on the side, it's I'm going to be able to like fold it just like this. Okay. So let's do that. So the next thing is we're going to glue these on here. Nothing major. So just, just kind of wing it right there. I want it to have a lot of give and leeway to be able to fold. Just like that. And then we're going to do that for the miscellaneous as well. Let's just do it together. It's super easy so far. Just making sure that, you know, these are just basic, basic supplies that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Right there. And then I like the Ohuhu markers on my right side. So this is what it's going to look like. And then the Ohuhu markers are on here to the right. Just like that. So when it's this is on your lap, this one is open or this one is open, you can easily get your supplies. And then when you're done, you fold them, fold them, and you're done. Then you can put them in your bag or whatever. So that's what we want to do. So what I would do, just... Eyeball it and make sure that you attach it firmly, just like that, right there, and then do the same thing for the other side. Same. Sorry about my nails. I was writing notes, I had a class today. And yeah. That is like essentially essentially our I made this one shorter because this one goes in more than this other one. Because I want the uhuhu to have more leeway because it's gonna be more bulky. Simply see like this is longer than this. So um that's just for me. 
and then what's left is for us to attach this is the envelope that I was talking to you about <clears throat> and I want us to attach this um, in such a way that it can still move so I'm getting more ribbon and I'm gluing more ribbon in here and that should take care of that you can still move it at the same time it is also decorative so we're gonna be this is quite a challenge you gotta work fast because it's plastic okay so we did half of that and then the next is half of this so you're going to attach it I want to make sure that I have all of the this side attached same with the other side just a little bit more glue and again this is just a prototype kind of version because I went to the Dollar Tree today so I just got some basic but I'm gonna be doing like the pouches from Hobby Lobby I just want to I just want to see if this idea will work and I think it's going to work so we can, you know, paint this if we wanted to, etc, etc. I just want to check if the concept will work. And I think, I think the materials can easily be found everywhere that this is reproducible for a lot of people. You know, like wherever you live, this coloring thing can still be reproduced so this folds up to here when it's stored this closes here this closes here and this goes on your bag and then when you're ready to color this you get your paper from here or from the zipper and then fold it onto itself just like that and then you're ready to color so voila that is pretty much it okay my friend so this is our finished product imagine that this is going to be your like coloring station you're sitting this sits on your lap and it has a hard enough board so you can color your supplies are here if you want to do some fussy cutting you can and it's here it's revealed and then if you stamp some images and this is an idea from Cynthia um, and she is um, an amazing colorist and this is her idea she she cuts them and puts them in individual ATC cards and I thought that's a great idea if you can't color everything that's fine but you can have a collection of colored images so I would put it here just like that for the ones and then you can even put you know blank eight by eight by um, 11 and then this folds here okay folds here and then imagine that's on your lap and you're watching your child martial arts gymnastics while you're coloring your stamped images and then when they're done you need to pick them up you then fold this up you know store all the ones that you've colored inside right here or whatever fold it up fold it up and this is ready to go super fast super fun super cost effective i hope you try it out um anyway thank you for for watching and i hope you have a wonderful crafty day this is christian signing out bye guys